was such a great game. Now, before they look forward to the border battle with the pack, the pack coming up on Sunday, the Purple are giving back to some young fans. Yeah, a number of players are getting into the Halloween spirit to benefit children and their families from M Health Fairview Masonic Children's Hospital. Sports director Jim Rich joining us live from Omni Vikings Lakes Hotel with tonight's festivities among all the ghouls tonight, Jimmy. Yeah, Randy, uh, the sh fashion show just wrapping up. The guys getting out of their costumes. Uh, one of the newest Vikings, Dalton Reisner, joining us now. And uh, you stepped up for this. Uh, you said you had to go through how many costume changes? It was four costumes, four walks, man. Um, it was it was such an amazing night. It's the first time I've done this. I've been excited for it for a while. I saw pictures of it. I'm like, man, this is going to be fun. Just walking down the runway, and we're strutting, and we're waving, and um, just to hopefully make these kids smile, make an impact on their night, right? Um, us big boys, we, we built up a sweat tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I want to know is... Is there a fight over costumes in there? You know, some of them do look pretty good, and other ones you come out a little, little sketchy sometimes. What I heard was it was first come, first serve. So I got here early. I got my four costumes, put them under a, a coat, put them in the corner of the room. <laughs> I got mine. I'm good. You know, as old lineman, you got to pick the ones you're like, okay, which one will I sweat the least in? Right. Which one is the easiest to slip on and off? And there's some guys in there that they got some, some crazy costumes, man. So it was good. But you know what? At the end of the day, whatever costume you're wearing, it's more about whose hand you're holding and which, which kid you're making smile and which family out there is watching their kid walk down with a Viking player in their costume. And um, I don't want to get too much into it, but this game of football and what we do, I mean, it's a huge blessing, but we call it a war, and it's not a war. Um, the war that a lot of these kids and these families face every day, that's a real war. Um, for me, in my experience, I have people in my life, a young boy named Caden that went through ALL leukemia cancer, and there's kids here that are going through that as well, and that's a real war, and just want to make sure they know that because they're the real warriors and we can learn something from them. Absolutely. I mean, that is what's so cool about coming to these events is seeing players like yourself knowing that you're on a platform right now and then that you have a chance to brighten somebody's day who hasn't had a lot of bright days. You're exactly right. This platform is a blessing, right? And I'll be gosh darned if I don't use this platform to talk about my faith or talk about impacting the lives of other people or talk about being in the Viking organization. And we want those kids and those families to look at us top athletes in this world and say that's a role model we want our kids to mold their lives after this young man whether it's how i approach my day-to-day -day, my work on the field off the field whatever it may be that's what i try to do because like you just said every opportunity we get to make an impact on this family i know when i was a kid i would have done anything to meet someone in the nfl from wiggins colorado i would have been ecstatic so i try to make sure to make that impact as much as i can because that platform it won't it won't last forever well, Dalton, thank you so much for giving us the time. And thank you for doing this because, as you said, all these kids are smiling over there. And that's the most important thing right now. Beating San Francisco was cool, oh, yeah. right? Was that was good. good. That was a good. Lot of smiles tonight. I think, I don't know if it's from last night or tonight, but I think both of the things combined, it's a great Tuesday night. So God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. That's Dalton Reisner of the Vikings. <laughs> Pleasure, sir. Holy buckets. <laughs> now, this isn't a costume, though. No is, costume. is Halloween a, a big time of years? I, I love Halloween for this thing. I want to get a pumpkin ice latte. I want to go to a pumpkin patch in an apple orchard. I want to go to a haunted house. And I've done all those things since I've been in Minnesota. So I've been enjoying the heck out of it. Uh, only thing left is the players Halloween party and got to go beat the Green Bay Packers. Perfect. Uh, that's the story from here. This guy's got got it going on. He knows the priorities. Uh, help these families, help these kids. But uh, also it's good to beat the Packers and the Niners as well. <laughs> Let's go back to you guys in the studio. He had the, you until then, didn't I, he? Well, I'm not even saying anything because it's <laughs> foregone conclusion in some parts. But uh, what a what a player. Yeah. The Vikings should stick a microphone in front of him every single every day. Every time. Right? Yeah. I listened to him after the game last night, and his post game was so good. Now I just, I'm going to go and buy a Dalton Reisner jersey. Oh, I love just him. Yeah, fantastic so. guy. Okay. Uh, we already have an Ian Leonard jersey, number nine on the back. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's not selling very well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, Dalton. It, we got I, it on the clearance table. I want Dalton. I just want to go to Dalton's house and clear his snow all winter. Right? He just seems like such a, just a down earth, magnificent guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, if the world had more people like that, mm -hmm. we'd. I, just, yeah. I, I was waiting for him to just tussle Jimmy's hair on the way out. <laughs> a little bit. Or just, <laughs> that kind of thing. Gotta right? pick Jim up under his arm That's and walk right. off. I mean, he's a big guy. Okay, so here's.